A few days ago, me and my good friend Jimmy started to work on a new song together. And we decided to work remotely this time instead of him coming down to the studio since he lives an hour and a half away. But the thing is, Jimmy doesn't work with Cubase yet. I'm working on it. But he works with Logic Pro. So I need a way for Jimmy to be able to open my Cubase session in Logic Pro. And lucky for me, in Cubase Pro, I have access to AAF Export. And this is what I'm going to show you today. Hey, what's going on, my friends? Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, let's talk about AAF export. So, if you're using Cubase Pro, that feature can be very useful when collaborating with other people that are not using the same DAW as yours. So, let's jump in Cubase and let's take a look at what we have here. So, what I have here is just the beginning of a song idea, and I just want to send that session to Jimmy so he can lay down some guitar tracks and send me those tracks afterwards. To do so, what I need to do is just to uh, to use the AAF export feature found in Cubase Pro uh, where, and you can find that under file and export and then AAF so it's very simple uh, but the thing is um, and this is something that you need to know is that AAF is limited but very useful it is only going to export audio channels that's it okay so no MIDI or virtual instruments channels only audio no effects, so no plugins, uh, no settings whatsoever, only audio channels. Uh, and this is something you need to consider. Uh, now, in my case, I have like a bunch of MIDI channels. And what I'm first going to do is to prepare my session to be able to export it in a AAF file. So what I'm going to do here is to select all my MIDI events, go up to edit, and then render in place, click on render settings. I'm gonna make sure all of my settings are okay and I'm just gonna click on render. And that will create audio files and audio channels out of those MIDI events. All right, so now I'm just gonna have a quick listen. All right, perfect, so that works out pretty well. Uh, now all of my MIDI events are muted. Now what I need to do is just to export my project in AAF. So I'm going to click on file, go down to export, select AAF, and then I'm going to select the channels that I want to export to uh, and send to Jimmy. So I can check them out from this window or I can select them in advance right here in my project window and that will, will automatically select them on my AAF export option window. So what I need to look here is all those settings on the right side. Um, so I'm gonna click on from left to right locator. Right now this is set up to the first bar and to the end of my, uh, my song. Uh, and then I have the destination path. Um, and this one, let me just uh, select the one. I'm gonna select a folder on the desktop click on select and I'm going to click on copy media because I want to copy uh, the audio events of my session to be linked to the AAF project. So then what I'm going to focus on is those two options. Um, I have export media file preferences, which is going to export the files um, outside the AAF file or you can export everything in one AAF files. So the AAF file will include the WAV files. So what I'm going to do here is to select export media file preferences. I'm going to show you what that does. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to name the AAF file um, AAF song idea. There you go. Click on save and now I'm going to get that message. It's going to let me know that my project includes some stereo files and it, that might not be supported on every DAW. But I know that on Logic Pro, that is not gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna click on continue. And now I have my AAF file and my WAV files as well. But I could have included everything in one file. So let's do that this time. And by clicking on export all to one file. I'm gonna click on okay. And this time uh, let's call it AAF2. Click on save. 
And now, as you can see, this is the new one. You see the size of that file that is way bigger than uh, the previous one. Uh, but the thing is, all my stereo channels, all my stereo files are going to be in dual mono, meaning that when importing the AAF file on another DAW, instead of importing a stereo file for every stereo file that you have in your session, it will import two mono files, so one left and one right. So that is the only main difference. So it is that simple to export your session in AAF. So what I need to do afterwards is to send that to my good friend Jimmy. So he's going to be able to start recording his own guitars on, uh, on my session. So that's simple. And this is exactly what he did. And afterwards, he sent me his own AAF file because AAF export is available on uh, Logic Pro as well, like in Cubase, which is quite nice. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to import Jimmy's AAF session this time. Okay, so now to import a AAF project, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on File, click on Import, and go down to AAF. And then I'm going to look for my project. And what I did here is I um, downloaded Jimmy's AAF project within the same folder as my project. So everything stays in the same location. And there you go. Now I named that folder AAF and I have song idea dot AAF, which is Jimmy's AAF projects. I'm going to click on open. And now it's going to ask me if I want to create a new project or not. Um, and this is up to you. Now, in my case, I'm going to click on no, because I want to import uh, those tracks within the same project that I'm working on. Um, so I'm going to click on no. And now I have access to all the channels that Jimmy exported in AAF. So I'm going to click on select all tracks. And then I'm going to click on import all media files and select import at absolute position. So this way, those audio files will keep the same position on my project. And there you go. This is what we have. I have all of Jimmy's guitars right here. So let's have a quick listen. So the only thing I need to do is to just rough mix the thing, make sure everything is well balanced. So this is how I collaborate with people that are not using Cubase by using AAF, which is part of Cubase Pro. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave everything down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share and to like. And if you're new here on the channel, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. All right, my friends, take care. I'm going to see you next time.